Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about the keto diet and how anybody with atrial fibrillation, what you should be aware about with, with the keto diet. The keto diet is an extremely popular and controversial diet right now, and it was actually one of the top Google search terms of 2018, so there are many, many people interested about in the keto diet. And I've had several patients of mine ask me about the keto diet and whether they think it's safe for them or good for them to use for their atrial fibrillation. Now, I've talked about in the past that weight loss can be very effective for improving symptoms of atrial fibrillation. There have been several studies in the past that have talked about 10% uh, weight loss uh, of a patient's initial uh, body weight can result in over 40% improvement in a person's AFib symptoms. But what about what diet? You know, people want to know what diet is good for them and whether the keto diet specifically is an okay diet to use. So for those of you who are not aware, what is the keto diet? What does it do? So the keto diet is a very popular uh, diet right now, which is a very, very low carb diet. Uh, it's such a low carb diet that it induces what's called a state of ketosis. And that means that it induces your body to use an alternative fuel source other than sugar, uh, which are ketones and breaking down fat molecules. And it's a very a rapid uh, weight loss and it's been very popular and you've probably seen celebrities and other people online who have used the keto diet and have pretty rapidly uh, lost weight. So it seems to be pretty effective as a weight loss uh, uh, regimen. But is it safe, medically speaking, for people who have heart conditions or specifically atrial fibrillation? Uh, there are unfortunately some case reports out there that have demonstrated that the ketosis, this, all, this state of, of uh, the diet where you have more ketones in your blood can actually trigger episodes or lead to more episodes of atrial fibrillation. It's just a very few small case reports. Uh, there's not a whole lot of liter literature out there. However, it does make a little bit sense that the keto diet could, in essence, affect or contribute to getting more episodes of atrial fibrillation. And how can it possibly do that? Well, the whole state of ketosis or having ketones in your body does actually affect your pH, sort of that acid-based you know, balance that we have in our, in our blood, in our body. And there's a lot of literature out there, a lot of website articles out there about acidic keto diet and alkaline keto diet. And these are all things related to the pH inside of a person's body. And altering, alter, affecting your pH in your body can certainly have effect on triggering episodes of atrial fibrillation. The heart is very sensitive to changes in the pH and can lead to short circuits and extra beats which can end up triggering episodes of atrial fibrillation. In addition, these states of ketosis can also affect your electrolyte imbalances and many of you are aware about potassium and magnesium deficiencies which can also contribute to episodes of atrial fibrillation. So it does in a sense make sense that doing the keto diet can affect or can potentially trigger episodes of atrial fibrillation. It makes sense medically. And so that's sort of the main reason why I do not typically affect, uh, recommend uh, my patients to have the keto diet. I've just seen a couple of case reports that show that it may not be beneficial for patients who have atrial fibrillation. Now the literature, the websites, the literature looks that it's very good as a weight loss uh, strategy, but however for patients with atrial fibrillation it may not be the right strategy. Uh, it may be a good short-term plan for some patients, but as a long-term strategy for weight loss and weight management, it may not be the right strategy for patients with atrial fibrillation. When it comes to atrial fibrillation as well as patients with heart disease, uh, for many years now there's been a lot of good data and articles supporting the use of the Mediterranean diet for uh, atrial fibrillation as well as for patients with heart disease as more of a safer alternative, which I'll discuss more in a later video segment. But at this point, I want to discuss specifically the ketone diet and why I do not typically recommend it to my patients with atrial fibrillation. But always discuss diet plans with your doctor for further information. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.